Doesn't look too bad out there. A little breezy from the south today. Looks good. What's up guys? Back again at the lake. Gonna do a little bit more crappie fishing today. It's Friday afternoon. Didn't get out this morning. Um, just wanted to give a little afternoon scout for the weekend's trips that we've got. Not a trailer in the parking lot, as you can see, at least this one. I like using this ramp still because the uh, other one is still covered in mud. So not a fan, but um, they just want to start off by saying that the uh, response that I got from the last video kind of outlining what exactly happened over the last three months, four to six was kind of an exaggeration. It has been since September, but the response was super awesome. Love the support. You guys are great. So definitely gives me a little bit more motivation to uh, keep doing these stupid little videos, but I don't really have anything new to talk about today. Like I said, we're just going to be kind of doing the same same stuff, um, see if we can get on a good bite, try and figure out what's going to be good for the morning. So we'll just kind of go from there, try and throw a couple new tips that maybe I haven't uh, taught you guys yet on this channel, but we'll just see what happens. Going to get the uh, straps off the boat, get the uh, ice armor on and get out there. So I'll see you on the lake. All right, well, just made it out on the lake here. Uh, again, just like the other day, uh, probably here for the next week. Got a pretty stiff south wind. So I'll try and fish what I can or what I want to fish, I should say, but uh, due to the likely wind noise, probably have to stick to uh, a lot of the South Shore stuff again. But we'll just kind of see, see one other boat pulling out of the marina right now. I'll be curious to see how many guys are actually out. I know yesterday was a complete madhouse and I'm really glad that I didn't fish yesterday, but today's trip, just gonna get out for like an hour and a half, two hours, poke around, little scouting trip for uh, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday's trips that I had. So we'll just see what happens. But uh, if we do have some wind noise, I apologize, not much I can really do about it, but um, yeah, see you on the GoPro. That's what you wanna see right there. I think that's a good place to start, don't you? All right, guys, well, just landed over our first brush pile like you guys saw. There's a shit ton of fish on it. Fishing something a little bit farther away than what I wanted to fish because, believe it or not, that same dude that was out here duck hunting the other day, oh my god, I already got a fish on, big surprise. Um, that same duck hunter that was out here the other day is here again. That, uh, as you guys saw, there were a bunch of fish on that brush pile, and it's really no surprise that we got bit immediately, so it's pretty cool. Mmm. Missed him. Oh, man. Slack line me. 0 for 2. Maybe he's small. Don't think we're going to miss him on the third attempt. Nope. He is small. Picking off the little ones first, I guess. Well, I like like I keep saying, you guys saw, <clears throat> it's pretty obvious that there's a bunch of fish on this pile. <laughs> this one feels a little bit better, but not by much. Um, so really just trying to determine the size here. Really like to see a couple nicer fish before we move. But again, this is just kind of a probing trip, quick probing trip to find uh, what's going to be good first thing tomorrow morning when I've got customers in the boat for a guide trip. So. Just keep after it, keep weeding through these little ones, but tons and tons of fish on it. There we go. This one feels better, oh yeah. That, uh, this one would definitely make the team for sure. Much better fish. They're fired up though. We are on the juice. So now just kind of a cool tip, like I was saying in the last video for you guys out there that have a motor guide XI5 or you can do this on a Tarova or an Ultra X2 but it's got these numbers here so I've got my good position over the brush pile so I know pretty much my first three already I'm going to reprogram them today so I have them dialed in for tomorrow oop there I had a fish on um, but for this one I know I had a, a mark on this one last time but it wasn't very good so I've got a good mark on it now just going to hit and hold the number four you heard a tone from the trolling motor and now I've got this spot lock saved in my remote. So if we variate off of it or want to come back, I can just hit number four and it's going to take us right back to the spot lock. So pretty cool little tip. Man, they're aggressive. I just actually moved us back. Uh, we did kind of see like in that screenshot that I showed you guys a lot of fish 
suspended off the brush pile just right on that channel break and now that's kind of what I'm marking right now and as soon as I did I got nailed immediately and missed him. A lot of fish here. Got one chasing chasing me up right now on the screen. I've got him all the way up to 15 from 20 and now he is disengaged. That's annoying. But again, kind of to show you guys what I'm talking about so you can see my two jigs on the screen. Mark right below it. Followed him all the way up right there to where my first jig was hanging down and then he went right back down. So that's kind of annoying. <clears throat> Another little one. Really just kind of moving us around the brush. Uh, different sides of it, front, back left side, right side, see if they're more concentrated in one spot or the other, or at least big ones, but haven't really told us anything yet, except there's a ton of fish on it. Keepers and shorts. <clears throat> it's getting a little ridiculous here. Okay, made a little move here, cause like I said, that pile had tons and tons of fish on it, but when everyone is like nine inches with the occasional 11 and a half or so, not really what I'm looking for. So we've been here less than 20 minutes, caught that many fish. Good sign they're biting, but not uh, not the fish that I'm looking for for a guide trip. So we just keep moving. Instantly. Good fish too. Good fish. Yep. First fish, new spot, keeper. So good sign. See if we can't pop a couple more and then leave it alone. I am not here to burn my piles for tomorrow morning. Just, uh, just giving them a little poke, a little poke. So now something else that I've kind of been dealing with uh, when I'm fishing a lot of brush piles, maybe down towards the west end of the lake, kind of a little bit west, maybe halfway down now. But um, like you can see on the graph here, that whole line of uh, yellow right there at the top, that's all shad. So when you're dealing with tons of shad, I mean, yeah, the, the graph is having trouble reading bottom because there's so much shad right there. Sometimes if you have a tougher bite and there's a lot of shad nearby, that's probably why, because those fish are fed, but that's what we're dealing with on top of this brush pile right here. Didn't bother the first fish, but I'll be curious to see if that affects it at all. So kind of here's another example. Um, got tree that we just got done fishing, had some fish on it there. Those are all giant balls of shad. And then we've got a standing tree right there with crappie stacked up and down, big ball of shad at the bottom. But that's what it looks like on down scan. So we're still just kind of moving around and seeing what looks best. Oof, there, oh my God, no way. <laughs> I barely had any line out on that and just dropped down on a standing tree. That's uh, one of the bigger ones that we've had on camera since the last video two days ago. It's probably 13, 13 and a half. Big old mouth. We'll put that one in the box for pictures, see if we can get another big one. That's, uh, just in case you're wondering, that's the kind that we're looking for. There we go. Another one. Oh, so this one feels heavy too. Yep. <clears throat> Keeper though. Good one. Is that a black crappie? No way. Is it? I think that might be now. He's got speckles like a black crappie, but it's not, but that's a keeper. He's been caught before. Cool. Figuring it out. All right, had to move here. Things uh, things kind of slowed down at the last spot that I was at after I caught that big one. So I came out to uh, the channel. I'm on a waypoint that I actually have not fished for like six years. Like one of my first crappie spots winter crappie spots that I ever had and rolled over it and marked some suspended fish. I don't know if there's a ton of brush down there, but there are suspended fish. I don't know if they're crappies or what, but I thought I'd try and get over it and see if I could pop a fish and just see. All right, so just uh, kind of been bouncing around, but came out to some old spots that I used to fish quite a bit out here on the main channel. Um, that's what we just marked right there, as you can see. There are several many fish on it, right on the edge of the channel break, you can see right there. So we're gonna fish this one and give it a shot. Looking pretty juicy. 
pretty juicy. We are spot locked right on top of this brush here and 28 feet right on the edge of the channel. Tons of fish on it, so. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a big one. First drop within five seconds of being down there. Yep, nice fish. Beauty. <clears throat> I'm gonna put these in the box. Not to keep, not even for a picture. I don't wanna spook the school. So we'll just put them in there and then see if we can get a bigger one. Let them go. That did not take long at all though. This brush pile is money. Mark this one here. Another one. Another oh, nice fish too, I think. Feels good. Yep. I don't know. I don't even want to put him in the box. Just throw him over there. <laughs> don't tell your friends. Cool. The old spot. I haven't fished this area in like six, seven years maybe. One of my first ever like main channel brush piles I ever had marked. Oh, instant. Instant. Hit it on the drop too. Little guy. They're fired up though. This spot is going to be a good one for uh, tomorrow, so I'm very excited about that. Program this one into the XI-5. Sweet. There he is. A little better. Keeper. Barely. Come on, big ones. This is like big fish territory too. There we go. That one feels better. Oh yeah. Nice fish. He might be a picture candidate. About almost 13 maybe. Just slid off the edge of the channel just a little bit off that brush. That's where he was. Pretty cool fishing a new spot that I haven't fished in many, many, many time many years. Pretty neat fishing a spot that I have not fished in a very long time. God, I probably have videos on my channel from years ago fishing this same spot. One of my first ones. There he is. I watched that one come up and get it. That was cool. I'll show you guys on the uh, sonar. That's a nice one too, I think. Oh yeah. Chunky, chunky fish. I just grabbed a three and a half inch toad tamer. Put on the other rod. It's a nice, almost 13. Good fish. But yeah, let me show you guys. That was pretty cool. I was watching him race up. Let me get the cursor out of the way. I was just watching him, watching my two jigs right there. I bounced it right there and then I saw a hard mark and I saw him racing up right there. And then as soon as I saw him race up, I got crushed and there's the fish coming up. Pretty neat. 2D sonar is fun. Well, before I get too ahead of myself and forget, let's just take that smaller guy out of the box because I think we got three. Don't need three for a picture. Yep, that's a smaller one. A couple nice ones there, but remember if you guys plan on releasing fish just uh, just like a tournament I mean keep your live well on research I've got fresh water flowing in there at the same time if you're worried about your boats battery life buy different batteries nice keeper sweet this pile rules it is loaded not even going to bother, just keep, uh, I was actually just shifting uh, out to the channel just a little ways and uh, just kind of moving along and that's when that one hit. Sweet. Well, not too shabby of an hour so far, I think we've been out here for like an hour and ten minutes. Quite a bit of keepers, uh, I think we got the new spot for tomorrow morning, the customers dialed in so that's cool but real quick I'm going to take you over this brush pile one more time and show you what that looks like. We're sitting right on the edge of the channel break. Um, you know, it goes from like 24 all the way down to 40 foot of water really fast. And that's kind of always the program in the wintertime is deep brush. So 
Just to give you guys a better indication, I'm gonna show you again on the Garmin real quick. There she be, kind of catching a weird part of the brush right there, but you can see the standing tree, all those dots on the inside of it are all crappies. It looked a lot better when we first went over the brush pile. Obviously you guys saw that when we first got here, but um, that's what they look like. Whoa, that one ate. Deep, nice fish too. Nice fish, sweet. Keeper. That's cute. New stuff, new stuff, I like it. Another one, crushed it. Ooh, heavy fish, heavy fish. Will this be the last one? Oh yeah, buddy. Heavy fish. That's awesome. That's just awesome. All right, well, I'd say let's, uh, let's get off this. We'll drive around, find one more neat little brush pile that is potentially new. Get out of here. I don't really need to, uh, I don't really need to know much more. Oh, the whole time. Had it the whole time. <laughs> That's one way to hook them. That's a nice keeper too. We'll take it. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh yeah. All right. Another heavy fish. Good head shakes. You bet. Dude, this is awesome. We're not even really on brush right now. We're just kind of on the break of the channel. Um, and they're loaded. It's another nice 12 and a half incher. So, so, so cool. All right, last one. Last little uh, brush pile that we found close by here again. Kind of on an old waypoint-ish. First drop, first drop. Doesn't feel big, is a keeper. Awesome, so awesome. There we go. This will be the last one. Feels like a good one too. Last fish, oh yeah. That is all I need to know for the day. Just awesome. Another keeper. I know what I'm doing tomorrow morning. That was, that was just so much fun. So freaking awesome. So with that said, uh, let's pull these two big ones out of the box, take a picture, say goodbye. All right, that's... Uh... That's what I've got for you today. Just came out, been here almost exactly two hours. We caught a bunch of nice fish. Uh, the stuff that I poked at the other video, it was like so-so, um, but came out uh, to some other stuff that I haven't fished in a long time and it ended up paying off. So let's get these two uh, big ones out of the box and take a look. Yep, that, that's a nice one right there. I don't know, like 13 and a half, almost 14. This one's probably 12 and a half, 13, but just wanted to get a couple ones for uh, some pictures here. I'll let them go real quick. <sighs> All right. So again, I mean, I think the biggest piece of advice that I can offer anybody when it pertains to crappie fishing, wiper fishing, white bass, largemouth, smallmouth, whatever, is just stay mobile, keep moving. I mean, when I have customers on board, if we don't get bit within like three to five minutes, we're gone. Even if there's a ton of fish on it, I wanna find the most active fish, and that's kind of what we did today. I hope that some of the Garmin images that I showed you on the down scan helped. If you guys are trying to learn that kind of thing, because I know it can be kind of a steep learning curve for a lot of people, especially 2D sonar. Yeah, we got to see a lot of trees loaded with fish, got to catch a bunch of them. Um, but again, been out here for almost exactly two hours, fished. I think five or six uh, spots and uh, they paid off. So I pretty much, again, I know what I'm doing tomorrow morning with customers gonna fish this new stuff. So we'll see how it goes. If you guys wanna book a trip, uh, website's gonna be linked down below. Um, got openings here at the uh, beginning and middle of January. This bite's gonna remain good all the way up until the end of February, until the game fish start going. So if you guys want to uh, get out on some winter crappie action, definitely give me a call. So. That's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I need suggestions on what you guys want to see. We're pretty limited as far as what we can fish for. My power plant lake hasn't been fishing very good, so 
the majority of the videos that you're gonna see are crappie ones. We can go fish, uh, fish a couple other lakes for largemouth, but let me know what you guys wanna see, um, and I'll try and get out there and make it happen. So thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>